all right what is going on today youtube we got a match for you guys today of zombies versus uh what are they called paleozoic frogs i believe with a little surprise twist that you guys are going to see you're gonna be like what the fuck but i think a lot of people are going to be playing this little tech uh a lot uh, uh, a lot more because it's just an easy little one two tech so <clears throat> as you can see he's starting off with the swap frog and the ronin toning uh dumps and stuff like that so he's definitely going to establish a tree talk um, wow tree talk a tree frog very early in the game and um yeah man this is not looking too good for me but i do have the solid strike so that's definitely something I can just pretty much bait out for his tree toad and shit like that. And then I top deck a spirit master, which is amazing. So here, what I'm thinking about doing is normally summon a spirit master to special summon solitaire and then go into a, if I mean, if spirit master gets through, I can go solitaire and then I could just go into a castell and then uh, pretty much bait out the tree toad there. Um, but also this is exactly what I mean what I should have did was use the spirit master for the smith That's exactly what I should have did. I should have used the smith uh, And you're gonna see you're gonna uh, see why after this not because of what happens, but Because uh, what I could have did after that was use um, Foolish Bear to send Gozuki to banish the, the spirit master um, To special summon the solitaire from my hand that's that's exactly what I should have did and uh, I, I, I realized it like literally after this play but I go into Castell which gets warning and now what I, I can't go into a foolish burial because if I send Mizuki he's just gonna negate it with tree toad if I uh, if, if I foolish he might just even negate the foolish burial my name let me get to send and then like also I can't do the Gozuki play because you know once again uh, he's just going to owe me. What can I get from my hand? I can't really get anything from the hand So he goes into uh, use tree to uh, tree toes effect again. Oh, never mind totally awesome He used totally awesome effect to get another swap frog. I'm sitting here thinking Jesus Christ I'm about to get beat in but I remember links man links so <clears throat> I'm not really too afraid but then when he when he when he does this this is what got me like oh, okay, there's this 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 is just unwinnable. He activates Spellbook of Secrets, folks. He's playing the Rudra combo, and it's so stupid because he just gets a free draw too. And since it's a water, he can use it. He can use it. It, it goes right into a deck. It's a two-star water, even though it's not a uh, what is it? A, I believe a Aqua. It's not an Aqua, so I mean he really can't do too much with it. But to get a free draw too. Is just amazing and he just pretty much has another one with secrets dead in his hand and with uh, the way frogs are set up there they you can just go into a deco talker you can go into any type of link you want and since they're getting the star boy I mean this deck is just only going to get better even though without those cards you know they really can't extend past one uh, totally awesome which is good but as you see here he's going into his uh, He's going into his deco talker. I was contemplating using strike, but I was like, no, nah, I want to save it for uh, I want to save it for uh, totally awesome because that's exactly what I need to negate. So he's going to add back a swap frog to his hand, which is just this is just retarded, man. I just can't I, I like I can't I can't get around this. So he goes Ronin Toten, uses Ronin Toten again to get another one out i'm like jesus christ there's just no way because if i strike the, if i i have to strike the totally awesome because you know i can't really just let him he's going to drop double totally awesome so i got i got to get rid of one um he's going to use uh, totally awesome to get back a water uh which in hindsight i possibly shouldn't have i possibly i shouldn't have struck stricken the first one i should have waited because he did not have another swap frog in his hand um i think he still had his normal summon though so i don't really think it mattered but I think what he would have did was uh, he would have went uh, totally awesome like he did. If I let that go, he probably went went would have went into that cat shark card that targets and boosts his attack, and I could have str uh, st strike that. And um, well, let me see, that would have been 28. And I still have been actually, yeah, yeah, I still would have been live by 1500 points, and you know everything would have been pretty much the same. Except he would not have. I mean, he still would have a tree toad, but. You know it, it would be at least a little bit better so 
as you see he's going to use a uh, totally awesome effect again to get a dupe frog with he doesn't point it in his deco talkers uh, he doesn't point it in that uh, what's the name he doesn't put it in one of the zones so I'm like all right maybe I can get out of this so I activate foolish barrier and he flips imperial orders <laughs> that's just pretty much the end of that shit that was just uh, this doesn't really I can do so we do get beasted and feasted on as you can see I'm going to side in zombie worlds and DD crows but I have no clue really what to take out I don't want to take out uh, what's the name uh, I do not want to take out like twin twisters and stuff like that because it was too good but I think I end up do taking it out because uh, I'm going first and I don't think I really need the Twin Twisters uh, to, to be going first. I want to go aggro. I want to get some cards off. Um, I take out a pot of inquisitiveness because once again, I'm going first. It's not really about the setup. It's about what's going on. Wait, do I take out the pot of inquisitiveness? I do not remember. Um, I believe I take out the inquisitiveness and the Book of Moon to keep in the DD Crows. I believe... That's exactly what I did. No, no, I take out a Unizombie and I think a, a Book of Moon to, uh, what's the name, to uh, keep the, uh, <clears throat> to, to put in the DD Crows. Uh, I'm not the greatest side deck, but yeah, man, that is the end of game one. I will see you guys in game two in, in a few short hours.